The Umbrella Academy is a Netflix original series based on the comics by Gerard Way and Gabriel Ba. They were released on February 19th, 2019. And what I can say about the series, after having watched it, it is very, very, very good. It's very well done. The cinematography is so good. It looks amazing, beautifully. The shadows are great. Illustrate what characters are going through very, very well. It's very, very, very well done, and it looks awesome. I just have one problem with it. The pacing and timing of many things are off. What I mean by that is that a lot of times things happen and then the characters instantly go with whatever has occurred. There is no time of reflection and things just seem to happen because the show needs them to happen. The final episode, the final villain kind of just shows up, does the thing, and then gets stopped. In the span of one episode! It's one episode! Why is that one episode? It, it makes no sense. I think probably the best way they could have fixed this would have been probably by taking the series, as, by when they adapted the series from the comic, either adapting it closer to how the comic goes, or taking what they had and extending it out by at least two more episodes. So one of my problems with the, um, is kind of the opposite problem that the uh, Netflix Marvel shows had, is that where a number of those I felt would drag out and drag on on parts because they needed to pad out to whatever their episode length was at the time, I can't remember what exactly they were, this one could have, could and should have just waited. They should have taken their time and actually extended the story out to fill as many episodes as we need to properly tell the story without having to speed up what was happening too much. Um, this is something that I hope they rectify in season two and would, I personally believe, make the show much more enjoyable, at least for me. All the characters are very, very well done. The acting is really good, uh, especially like number five. He's is really cool because the actor that the character is supposed to be this older guy trapped inside of a kid's body just because time travel shenanigans. And my, and the kid that they got to play him, whose name I can't remember, he does such a good job of pulling that off. It is hilarious to watch. If you have the time on your hands, which it's only 10 episodes and they're each an hour, maybe even just closer to 45 minutes each, I will recommend that you should watch The Umbrella Academy if you have any interest in it. If you do not like superheroes, if you have no interest in this type of story, you're probably not going to enjoy it. So anyway, uh, as, like I said, if you want to see this, go right ahead. If not, that's going to be, that's also good. Anyways, that's all for this video. Uh, tell me, what's your favorite comic book adaptation, show, or movie, whatever it is, down in the comments below. Um, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend about the video, and that's all gonna be, that's all it's gonna be. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.